Yes, under D1, we'd like to give our annual summer school uh, update. And Mrs. Kathy Blasi is going to do the middle and high school update first. They're looking at each other. Is that, that's the order that's on the agenda. Is that all right? <laughs> Good evening. Well, we did have a ball at summer school, and I took that from Ms. Mack's uh, presentation. This is the second year that I've been involved in summer school, and it is the highlight of my year, I have to tell you. All classes except for PE are held at Middletown High School. It is a computer-based program. It's called Aurora Learning. We've used that in years past. And we offer summer school classes, PE, and also credit recovery classes, as well as credit acceleration. Our program, we have full credit courses, and this is academic, and we also offer half credit courses. Uh, full credit courses run two and a half, excuse me, four and a half hours a day for 28 days. For half credit, we have two sessions, uh, four and a half hours again for 14 days. Courses available, there are a list of courses. We offer English, math, science, and social studies, full credit for those. Um, economics and government, um, those are advanced accelerated courses, those are half credit courses and we also offer those. High school offering, this is half credit. Um, let me just explain, for English 1, we offer sections A and B, the first half of the year and also the second half of the year. Again, this is for students that missed out on one part and need to, again, either retake or accelerate. Middle school offerings, we have 7th grade, 8th grade English, math 7th grade, and also 8th grade, social studies for 7th grade, and American history for 8th grade. And our PE offerings, we have two sessions of PE. We have um, one session that ran from June 20th to July 12th, and July 13th to August 1st. Most of our um, PE offerings are off-site. Um, we go different places. We go anywhere from putt-putt to fishing to um, golfing and um, all of the transportation and fees are covered by the students. They absolutely love PE in the summer. It was very hot this year. This is a self-sufficient program. Um, all of the funding comes from exactly what we take in from the students. Residents, it was $130. It was the same as last year for a half credit or a PE session. 260 for two half credit courses or a full credit course. And then we have, of course, the out of district costs. Our enrollment this year, we had 108 students. This is academic classes. 108 students that were enrolled. 77 of those students were high school students. We had 28 middle school students. In district, 68 of those students belonged to us. 41 were high school students. 27 were middle school students. Out of district, 37 students, high school students out of that out of district group, 36 and one middle school student. 32 of the students took full credit high school level courses, 58 took half credit high school level classes, 82% overall of the classes that were taken were for credit recovery, and again this includes in district and out of district, and 18% of the classes were taken, taken for accelerated credit. Our PE classes, we had 76 students who took the quarter credit of PE, and, and that's what we issued to 74 students. We had two who took both sections of it. 64 of the students were in district, and 10 of the students were out of district. We also, um, and our numbers, by the way, for both the academic and the, the PE courses were very similar to what they were last year. Um, where we added quite a few students, and I'm very happy and, and was very excited to um, have this. We have the Ohio graduation test preparation. It is free to our students. Students outside of the district, we charge them $70. Um, I want you to know that every Middletown student who needed to, that's 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, that had one section of the OGT that they did not pass, um, they were personally called um, during the summer, and, and again, the high school did a fantastic job of sending out letters, counselors, um, a lot of staff members signed up students right in class for this, but we followed up with phone calls and tried to make sure that all students knew that we had this available to them. So we had um, 
10 hours of intervention or preparation for reading, writing, math, science, and social studies. Um, you can see it was for four days, two and a half hours every day, and then they, the students took the test on Friday. We had 12 students who took the reading OGT. One student was out of district. Writing, we had four students. Math, 27. OGT science, we had 53 students. In district, five of those were out of district. Social studies, 26 students and three out of district. Those were the largest numbers that we've had so far. Summer graduates, we had seven who were eligible for graduation after completing their summer school courses and graduation was held at Middletown High School on August 6th at 6 p.m. And it's always wonderful to see those graduates um, get what they deserve as far as recognition and, and um, just a wonderful time. Any questions? Students that come from uh, out of the district, how do they, do, is it just not available at their school or do we do marketing that attracts them? What's the... We actually do. When we come up with the schedule, um, we send flyers out to our neighboring districts. What we found, it was very interesting this year, a lot of times um, districts do not offer summer school programs. It is expensive. It's very difficult. Um, we've been very fortunate to have the staff that comes forward because you're talking about having the correct certification in order to teach um, the high school level courses that are listed. And we were very fortunate. We've always had someone step up to the plate for the science, math, social studies, and language arts. So we've been very lucky. A lot of times they, um, well this year, um, we had a lot of districts that did offer uh, summer school. We thought it would hurt us a lot. Um, it didn't though. When you look at the numbers, they are very similar. Um, as far as PE, I think what, what makes it unique, our program, is that a lot of it is off-site. As a matter of fact, we had two students who were both out of district that went fishing and just caught these enormous fish. <laughs> and we're so excited about it. And um, they kept saying, you know, next year we're going to bring more of our friends here. This has just been an absolute ball. So, um, you know, the, the academic piece, it's all online. Um, I, I think it's important to know, too, when you hear those kind of stories, that part of the phys ed curriculum is to teach lifelong leisure activities, oh, yeah. and that's important to a well-rounded. I don't want people to think that we're just we're out fishing. Yeah. No. So there are multiple activities, and you. they actually talk about lifelong leisure activities. <laughs> it, 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 it really does encourage them to pursue these activities outside of school. It really does. It gives them something to look forward to, and um, certainly they enjoy it. And um, it, like I said, it's, it's always a very enjoyable experience for both the kids, the staff members involved in the whole program. Um, and like I said, it's, it's amazing when students put their mind to doing something, especially the summer school courses. They want to get it done. They want to get it out of the way, um, whether it's accelerated or, you know, credit recovery. And um, we work very, very hard to make sure that they have everything they need to be successful. I have a couple of questions. The OGT... Um, that you'd call all the students that need to take the test again. Correct. And so what percentage of the students did attend to um, take the opportunity? Probably about, I would say, a, um, a third. Okay, and there was no cost to them? No. If they are in district, no. So that's funded with our certain funds for, for intervention. Use the intervention. Is it based, is it a similar format to what we do for students during the year? <coughs> or is it accelerated or? In order to sit summer exam, you're required intervention. So every student has to have a minimum number of hours of intervention they can that's one of the reasons giving by intervention. Okay. During the school year, too. It is. It's, they can't take it again unless they They go through some do. kind of intervention, some kind of prep for it. And, it, and what we do when we um, prepare for the OGT preparation, there are a lot of great resources on the state website. Um, we take a look at, at what areas the students need to um, improve in and we work with them both as a group and individually as well. And so then you are able to measure the success of that intervention program with the achievement, the passage of the test? Yes. For those students? And then um, 
This is the third year we've used online. Is that right? I think third or fourth. Do we use Aurora during the year for credit recovery programs? We have not used Aurora for the last two during the year. We have continued with it in the summer program. We're looking at rolling over next summer to Plato. We weren't quite ready to do that rollover this year. Okay. And then what's the student teacher ratio in an online class? Do you feel that that helps make it successful? I think it does um, about 25 to 1. I, again, it's, it's different and it's, it's flexible. Um, it could be 26, 28 in some cases, depending on what the students need and the period of time that they're taking in it. It's, it becomes, it's very unique looking because you have students that are in courses for the full 28 days. And then you have some students who will take uh, the first part of, uh, for example, world history. And then when they're done with that, they'll move out over into, uh, let's say, geometry B. So, so it's, it's flexible. Sometimes they may have, you know, the overall group may be um, large, but then it, when second semester rolls around, those, some of those students may have another section that they're taking, another half credit course they're taking. So that's really working with the redesign of the high school where we're on a semester program. If they don't pass the second semester of geometry, they can yes. take that portion. Yes. And, and that, you remember a couple of years ago that was a, a real motivation because we were handicapping our kids, especially when you compared them to other high schools in the area. Good. So when we're, we're talking credit recovery, we're talking about kids who failed this during the regular school year. Correct. And we're giving them an opportunity to, to retake the class so they can get back on track Correct. with their grade. I mean, these are the kids who are at most risk of dropping out of high Correct. school because they're falling behind and get a sense of desperation. So we've re this is, I mean, I think it's commendable that we didn't just offer the program but made all these calls and reached out directly to get these kids into school and get them back on track. Do we have track the success of that? I mean, how many students pa actually successfully passed the summer school class? Um, how many? Well, you know, ask how many passed the test? How many passed the OGT yeah. after taking these interventions? Actually, we're waiting. Last year, last year we did not have as many students. I, I would probably say we had half the number that we have this year. Um, Half Again, the number take the course or half the number pass who took? Actually, half that went through the prep, the 10 hours, and then actually took the test. Okay. So um, our, we're waiting for our results to come in. We are definitely waiting for those to come in, and, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it all shakes out. Mm -hmm. um, it, and, and I don't have a number for you, but I remember last year when the results came back, um, in some cases students need to pass one section of the test, in other cases, they have multiple sections that they need to take. If, and, and, and the advice we've given students is, because it's overwhelming, even though you're talking about one week intense intervention, Monday through Thursday, and then you're taking the test, it's very difficult because students are, they're keyed up. It's, it's very nerve-wracking for them when they have, you know, they want to do a good job. They want to get it behind them. And so we've told them in some situations, concentrate on one, give it your best shot, you know, really focus in on math, focus in on science. And so when, when you look at the numbers, um, it, it's a success if they just pass one, or it's a success if they've just come, in some cases, their scores have shot up and they're so close and it gives them the incentive the next time they take the test in October, hey, I've done well, I can do this. I've, I look at how much I've grown. And so I, I, I think we've seen that, I do. We'll get those numbers to the board, though, when we have the test results. Mm -hmm. well, I think it's really important to know the success of the students taking the academic course because it is a different format for learning. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm just interested in, in, in being able to meet the needs of the student. And I mean, I ask every year after summer school to see those results because it tells me that this type of learning is working with our students, whether it's credit recovery or advanced credit. And I think we need to learn from that to be able to provide that opportunity, if it's working, to our students year-round. I can certainly provide you with, with the um, 
the grades of the students that have taken it, high school and middle school. I will tell you that um, the middle school students don't perform as well as the high school students. It is difficult for them. It's all online, and, and it's, it's challenging, and it's something that they're not used to. Uh, the high school students are very focused. You're talking about a different ball game because this is credit. This is credit recovery or accelerated credit. So you see very few grades that are low in the high school. Um, you know, they're, they're paying for this course. They're taking it seriously. They want to do well. They want the credit, obviously, or they wouldn't be there. And you'll find that they do very well. They do. If it's online, do they take it from home or are they in school? They take it. We, we need the seat hours. So they have to, they do it at school. We have teachers who are constantly checking their assignments. Um, in some cases, when working with students, if there's something that we feel that they need to work on more or um, there's a particular piece that they're having um, problems with, we will advise them to go home, log in, practice. Um, you know, we, we've made all kinds of accommodations and uh, definitely work with the students on making sure that they have what they need. Do we lend them computers to take we home to no, log in? We have not done that. We do not. Do other school districts provide summer school? Is that a requirement, or is it we've just chosen to do that? Not a requirement. We have chosen to provide summer school, and at the high school and middle school level, we have done it um, so that it's cost-neutral district. Um, okay. That was a change we made about three years ago. Correct. Our cost okay. But it is required at the elementary. We're required to provide intervention at the element, a summer intervention based on the OGT and OAT, which we do um, our elementary.